But there were no Aborigines frequenting this area when they came here. And the only Aboriginal I, I ever came across, not personally, but as showmen, they were taken over by some of these uh, uh, sideshow people. For instance, I remember on one occasion at some sports meeting, they had this Aborigine whip cracking. They became experts at some of some of the uh, uh, settlers' uh, occupations, we we'll say. Well, this fellow had a 40 or something like a 40 foot whip that he could crack. Well, you had to pay to go into the show to see these. I never went in, but I believe that the method he used for cracking this great long whip, it was a proper plaited whip. He laid it out along the ground and he took the haft of the whip like this and the, the whip cracked at the far end. He, he, virtually he just did that and caused the ripples to go down the whip. Mm. They're the only Aboriginals I really ever saw. As I said, they were had gone from this area in my time. But anyway, their artifacts have been left in the ground, and various things uh, have taken place. Oh, somewhere here a lot of newspaper cutters. Well, they were uh, some Aboriginal group had taken up a uh, well, sort of opposition, for want of a better word, to where they were putting deathridge wheels on irrigation systems for measuring the water that was used. Anyway, the newspaper article sort of... Uh, oh, I can't, can't find the words to explain what I mean. The, the futility of this, that the Aboriginal implements should be left in the ground as part of the heritage. Well, that's all right. Look at all the buildings that they dig the foundations for. Look at all the earth that's carted out to filling and all that sort of thing. Mm. It's just hopeless. The modern contractor probably knows absolutely nothing of the Aboriginal significance of the ground that they're mutilating. But anyway, buildings, soil removal, and all that sort of thing, yeah, all those good. artifacts go with it. But whereas, I'm not defending ourselves, whereas in our case, the terrain was blown away. <laughs> Sound them, there were all these implements. What else to do with them? Anyway, we were presented with odd things. I was presented with a boomerang from WA. 
It has been damaged. They bore the holes through it. And, uh, another pin. No, it's maybe still reasonable with these forgetting a bit. Ah. Uh, uh, it had a split in it that way. They bored a hole in it. Yeah. Yeah. And they bound that. I don't know what it was they bound it with. Probably a bit of sinew or something. To repair the boomerang. Well, that boomerang would come back. I don't know where the hell it is. I'm going to carry on and see if I can find all of these things.